So with Alien Covenant now out and the many fan theories circulating already around Shaw and what her role was in the film and potentially the creation of the Xenomorph on a whole, we're beginning to get our first look at some unused concept art. Matt Hatton, who worked alongside Dane Hallett on Alien Covenant's creature and world designs, has recently joined Instagram at matthat0n. A lot of the concept art is what would have lined David's lab, proto-eggs, engineers in various forms, and even one with some form of dissection or mutation taking place. We see some incredible work of the Neomorphs in various stages of their development. We even see what looks like a sort of relative to the Hammerpede we saw in Prometheus. Though the really interesting art comes in the form of what Shaw could have looked like. A very Giger-esque pose, tentacles surrounding her, and some even look to be a part of her head. We saw something similar to this in the movie, but obviously nothing quite as grotesque yet beautiful as this. It's a wonder why they opted to go the more simplistic look for her depiction. My personal thoughts to one side on Shaw's off-screen death, I definitely feel if we had seen her more like this, the fans of her character would have felt less upset about the way they handled her. But what do you guys think of this concept art? Do you agree with me in that if Shaw was shown to be more Giga-esque, her character would have served more purpose in death and thus not have been such a sharp shock to the fans. I'd be really keen to hear your thoughts on this, so as always, let me know what you think down below in the comments section, and if you did enjoy this video, then please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more in the future. I've been Mr H, and until next time, I'll catch you in the comments section.